the Best Advice Show. I'm Zach. All week on the show, I'm talking to Young Pueblo, a.k.a. Diego Perez. You might know Young Pueblo from Instagram, where he is just a massively popular uh, wise man, poet, writer. I was really excited to get to talk to him. I myself am not a regular meditator, but Vipassana meditation is what turned Diego's life around. Several years ago, he took his first 10-day silent retreat, and it transformed him. It was just mind-blowing how at the end, like when it was over, my mind felt lighter, and I could feel my emotions more, and I could feel my body, and I could just, um, I don't know, like walk around with this like slight new clarity um, that arose naturally because I got rid of so many, you know, deeply rooted patterns that were just blocking my view of life. Um, and that was just one 10 day course. And it was, you know, it was a, a small, but significant change where I knew this is worth my time. I should actually keep going back periodically so that I can, um, you know, work out all the kinks in my mind. When, when you find that there, you don't have that clarity in your day to day, what's, what's going on? Um, like in the outside world that, that might be causing that. Oh, interesting. I, I don't think it's the outside world. I think it's the inside world. Um, oftentimes when I don't have clarity or, you know, like the, the Vipassana practice that I do, I, I do it daily and I do it morning and evening. So I'm constantly being affected by this process and constantly moving through life within this process. And it's a process of purification. So you go in and you feel what's happening, but when you're able to like feel what's actually happening inside of you, it just makes old things come up. So there will be some days where, you know, you have a deep meditation. And then after that, you just like, you know, feel all this kind of like either anger or sadness or some form of mm -hmm. mental tension that'll come up. And then a part of your day may feel like a little clouded, but you know that it's because the stuff, the stuff is coming up so that it can leave so that your mind can continue, you know, developing its happiness, its freedom and becoming lighter over time. Um, and in those moments, I just try my best to treat myself gently to not do any like serious self-analysis. Like, you know, those are the worst times to try to measure like, oh, am I really making progress? Or like, how far have I really come? Because when the mind's cloudy, especially when it's full of aversion, it's so easy to just take a look at what you have done and minimize it. Um, so I try to just take a step back and just focus on gentleness as opposed to, you know, making any really big decisions or anything like that. Man, that's such a that's such a big point because in those cloudy moments, I can just think, man, no one, no one is resonating with my work. Your, your, you know, your work isn't meaningful. All that stuff, and it, and it's easy to want to make a decision to veer off course. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the, the, that tension often comes in those cloudy moments. You're right. Oh, totally, totally. And it's I think it's the most beautiful slash hardest practice to be able to take a step back from your own mind just let it do what it's doing without feeding it and also without letting it control you and it's just like all right this is what's happened you know sadness or whatever has arisen or self-doubt has arisen and let it let it do its thing and it'll burn itself out <laughs> do you do anything to physicalize that stepping back um yeah like sitting on my couch <laughs> Yeah, you just sit, sit, I just sit hang down. out. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll like, yeah. It, and even if it's a moment where, like, you know, if the tension is too big and I can't write or it's just cloudy, you know, like I just go chill out. Like, watch, watch something, a piece of art that's like really inspiring. Watch like an old movie that you love or read a book that, you know, can just help um, kind of like get you back on the right track. So I definitely will, like, you know, use the external environment to support me and, and just um, kind of like settling into, like whatever's passing through the body. God, I got to start meditating. I'm going to actually do it right now. As soon as I stop recording. Thanks for listening to the Best Advice Show. After hearing this, maybe you'll go meditate too. I'm not trying to be a missionary at all. It just seems super helpful. As always, I want to hear your advice. 844-935-BEST. That's 844-935-BEST. Give me a call. You can find Diego's new book, Clarity and Connection, wherever books are sold. 